Good evening. I'm Forrest Sawyer, and this is Day One. Tonight. It's the red hot Amy Fisher comic book. America's fascination with crime has come to this. Jeffrey Dahmer is a very marketable commodity. And to sell him is worth millions. Even the victim's families want a piece of the action. If you could make these trading cards and comic books go away, would you want that? Or do you want money for what's out there? Money, money, and more money. John Wayne Gacy tortured and murdered 33 young men and boys, sentenced to be executed May 10th. Jeffrey Dahmer, 17 murders, cannibalism, sentenced to 957 years in prison. Amy Fisher shot Mary Jo Buttafuoco in the head, sentenced to 5 to 15 years. What do these notorious criminals have in common? Comics, anybody need help here? Well, comic books, for one thing. It's an excellent seller. It, it outsells Superman and Spider-Man by about five to one. And, and it, it's very well written. How much is it? Twelve dollars. These are boom times for some of the most vicious killers in history. Mass murderer merchandise is selling as fast as it's produced, right down to serial killer trading cards. How much is it, Jeffrey Dahmer? Uh, Three dollars. <laughs> is this a complete life story, or...? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. The more grotesque the deed, the greater the killer's appeal. Just ask Hart Fisher, creator of the Dahmer comic book. The French doesn't buy this. Mom and Dad buy this. Your, your sister gets this because she knows her brother really digs the Dahmer case. Everybody buys these books. That's why I hate you, motherfucker! I hate you! They had already warned me if I did hit them that they would arrest me. So I just stomped and yelled and screamed as loud as I could. For the families of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims, the murders are nightmares they wish would fade away. They never imagined those nightmares could spawn a new American industry. When I thought, okay, I can go back to work, mm -hmm. I can start being productive again, uh, then on came a comic book, trading cards. This book exploits the memory of your loved ones. What kind of a pig goes and does this? Well, my opinion on that book is that uh, this, the guy that wrote this book, he said, sick of it, that's Jeffrey Dahmer. The only difference is that he wants to make a buck. People get off on this. You know, there's persons that want this kind of sick stuff and will pay big bucks to get it. Tom Jacobson, who represents some of the families of Dahmer's victims, says there is no way to take murderers out of the marketplace. The fact of the matter is Jeffrey Dahmer is a very marketable commodity. And to sell him is worth millions. Millions. That's right. Some of the families of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims have gotten an $80 million civil judgment against him. And to collect their money, they want to auction off his belongings. All of them. Tom Jacobson and his clients are going to auction off the vat where their relatives were boiled down without any qualms. No qualms, just for money. We don't get into qualms. We don't get into head problems with this. We don't get into the morality of this. We're only interested in the money. I don't get how you cannot feel bad selling Jeffrey Dahmer's refrigerator to some God knows who. I don't get it. I really think the freezer go more than the refrigerator. So the <laughs> file cabinet, the hand yeah. saw, the right. drill. Right. As for which of these items will bring top dollar, ask the expert. At Jeffrey Downer's dinnerware, uh, knives, forks, spoons, plate, uh, there are people who, who will buy it. There are people who would like that as a, as a souvenir. Uh, even ordinary people uh, who would like to have that just uh, maybe uh, on the coffee table saying, do you see that fork? Guess whose fork that was. And the proposed auction is just for openers. What the families really want is a partnership. Jeffrey Dahmer Incorporated. First item of business, selling Dahmer's life story to the highest bidder, with everyone, including Dahmer, sharing in the profits. Does this make you feel queasy at all? A partnership with Jeffrey Dahmer. 
we are suffering. And I feel that I don't care if we have to sell his wisdom tooth. He owed that to us. No point beyond which you would not go. None. No line that says this, this is morally wrong when it comes to making money off my... After what he did, there is no wrong. Hey, if you like that, grab my catalog. Which leaves the people the families have criticized in the past amazed. They are the victimizers now. They're victimizing themselves. They're exploiting the memories. They're doing exactly what they've been upset about. What they say has been inflicting so much pain, they're doing for a couple of bucks. They sold out. It's the American way for us. Bucks, money, that's all that counts. And I want it to go to my victim families. That's what it's all about, money.